Hey, it's James from Active and we're here to give you some updates on the 2.3 and what's coming for Active in 2024. I'm here with uh, James Casey, our head of industrial design to kind of go through the changes, go through the design process and uh, feedback on some of the design questions that we got online from the users. So uh, this is the latest prototype or almost production of the 2.3. I think it looks amazing. And JC, maybe you can go through some of the changes since the last update we gave on the 2.3. Sure. Aside from the colors, the biggest update, and I think the most exciting update, is the the main, the motor housing here in the middle. I was given the opportunity to really redesign the whole thing. So now if you look at the, you know, the design from the pump moving backwards, we have these fins on the front here, and now they all flow right back into this shape. I really, I wanted it to have like that almost kind of bullet shape to it. it just flowing from the from the front all the way to the back. So if you if you were to stare at it, it just it all lines up really nicely. And then just just making it feel like this is this is all one single assembly, you know, that yeah. that, that just works really well together. And and the the way the the ribs kind of complement from here to here, but then again I echo it over here. And then again on on some of these smaller parts on the inside that yeah. were again like I, I normally don't have the opportunity to to rework some of these typical off the shelf items and so i got to really kind of you know stretch myself a bit if you see the the previous version which is i think we've seen pictures of it before that guy that that was a spec uh spec motor and so it's just which is normal for us you kind of you you get it and then you figure out a, how to work with it but for this it was really exciting to actually you know, rework, redesign the whole thing. As we kind of work through this process, the opportunity to rework parts of the motor to optimize performance mm -hmm. necessitated us to actually redesign parts of the housing, yeah. including the interface with the pump, right? The other thing to note, I'm sure everybody is asking, is that this main component is removable from the frame. Yes. I think that was done based on the feedback we got on how everybody's using the 2.0 a lot of people are mounting these on their own shelves. A lot of them are mounting them on their own carts. They're doing all sorts yeah. of stuff. So we wanted to kind of enable the user to use the product in the way they want to. And so it's actually quite easy, right? To remove this yes. from the frame. Yeah. Um, yeah. We got a couple of questions that we'll get to on why are the handles like this? Why did you design the frame like this? Um, there are also holes here, mounting yeah. holes here wall mount. that you can just mount this directly to the wall as well in case those of you that don't have a shelf um, want to mount it on directly. So there's uh, an easy way for you guys to do that. I was looking at uh, like a single handle in the middle for this and they, these are like some of the early concepts. Then I really like, I got a, an idea of the heft of this thing on its own and it was just, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna pull your shoulder out. Trying right. to lift this thing up, so it's still heavy with two, with two handles, but it, it is manageable, right. especially if you're trying to, you know, if you want to move it from the truck to the garage or whatever, and then uh, throw it back on the wall. We have, you know, we've sort of worked that all out. Uh, You'll also notice the pump head is now brass. Yes, um, that was done for longevity, durability reasons. So it's a higher grade of material than what we have in the 2.0. Obviously, this is the 2.3. So there's been multiple changes in here. Of course, the biggest one is the motor driving the entire system, which results in big gains in performance, which we'll obviously get to and show you the testing and kind of how we got here. But specifically on the design, you know, we shared this with everybody kind of along the way. And we got a lot of good feedback and questions. And just to give you guys an idea of kind of what we go through when we design the product. You know, one of the big questions was, why aren't there wheels? Or are you gonna allow casters or wheels to be attached? Why did we decide to go without wheels? I mean, it's, it's this kind of unit, it's, it's meant to be the very, very minimal, very stripped down, with the ability to, to even strip it down further. But knowing the, the kind of the DIY spirit of many of our customers, 
If they want to put it on the cart, it's very easy to put on the cart. If they want to put some casters on it, it, it can, but we didn't want to do that because it's... I think when we looked at the use that yeah. most people are going to do with this, um, casters and this, you know, really heavy thing rolling around, yeah, just wasn't yeah. necessary to add to the cost. You know, from a product management business point of view, basically it's like this, do we want to add Twenty dollars to the cost of every single unit for the ten percent of users that are going to use it or want it with wheels. No, so we decided that for the majority of users are not going to use it with wheels. It's a heavy thing. It's going to be more of a semi-permanent or permanent solution. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are using it with fifty-foot hoses, so it's not like they need to move it around. So yeah. we just decided have it this way and you know live with that decision. We've seen a lot of people on the two point take the 2.0, mount it on carts with wheels. They mount it on old pressure washer carts and so forth. So people will do what they want to do, but for yeah. our basic spec, I don't think it's where we want to go. I think we got a, a question on, you already answered the question on why two handles, not one. Yeah. I think when you lift it and you see it, if it was one handle, it's hard to get the balance right. This is a lot safer, a lot easier to manage. So I think yeah. from a ergonomics point of view, there's a, there's a further, I mean, it's, it does uh, provide a lot of protection as well for the unit just to have it encased in this cage. So it's, it's working, you know, many jobs, mm -hmm. this particular frame. Having said that, you know, you can take it out if you don't want the, the space. Right. So. And, and again, I think that leads into some other new product for 2024. We will be selling an entire wall mount solution that mm -hmm. both the 2.3 and the 2.0 can mount onto it'll be a very beautiful integrated solution with with hose reels places for nozzles and storage and so forth so look out for that very soon we'll also have a revised foam cannon which you've been designing yes. yeah. and i think that's almost done if it's not already it's done. done so we'll yeah. have a separate video on that yeah we'll have uh, a bunch of new accessories as well that have all been redesigned and done yeah. so we're really trying to be thoughtful around the stuff that we rolled out making sure it's really good and differentiated, making sure it's designed and kind of works kind of in a yeah. nice kind of cohesive manner. Holistic, yeah. There was a question on the nozzles, on the location of where they were. Some people commented that that may be a bit inconvenient to get to. Yeah, there, there, was, a, there was a comment that one, maybe you wouldn't be able to see it and would it be difficult to get to? And it does seem like an obvious point when you're looking at a, a photo of it, but in practice, when you're standing even directly above it and it's on the floor, you can clearly see the four, you know, nozzle tips mm -hmm. right there. And then to remove it, I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's fine. It's, it's, it's Glad a snap. You that. Yeah. yeah. And now I think to the questions or the answers that everybody is actually looking for, you know, what is the actual performance of the thing? There'll be a long explanation of all of the different performance characteristics based on the different nozzle sizes. I believe we're including up to a four point, the base won't be a 4.5, which we think gives the best performance. And we're seeing numbers up to spec. So about a thousand PSI, the full spec performance for each nozzle size, we wanted it to be usable on most household circuits, uh, as opposed to the 20 amp or 20 multiple amp versions that, you know, many of our customers don't have commercial circuits to run on. So this is still a household circuit capable machine. Now, obviously, if you have an old house, you know, with fuses that snap all the time, it might not work for you. But for most household circuits, this is going to be the best performing pressure washer available today, getting up to, you know, like I said, close to 2.3 GPM at about yeah. 1000 PSI. And that's very big performance, a lot of cleaning units. And for those of you uh, who are into this type of stuff, that's going to give you really, you know, even a jump over the 2.0 in terms of performance. It sounds better because it's an induction motor, so it spins a lot slower. It's a, it's a, it's a hum rather than a, than a whine. Yeah. Yeah. And so we're excited to have it. And, you know, for those of you that want a bit more flow, even uh, with a bigger orifice, you're going to get a bit more flow, even above the 2.3. So that's really exciting. Yeah. Durability, life hours, those are all going to be excellent as well, you know, beyond the 2.0. And the, it's going to come with a 40 foot hose. It's going to come with a foam cannon um, and, of course, the standard nozzles. And uh, one big question is, why don't you have a high pressure version or 1500 PSI and above? 
it becomes a technical issue around wanting to make this usable for 15 amps. Some of our competitors that try it, that offer similar types of performance, so not even at this level, they're running at 20 amps and are, you know, or 20 or multiple, you know, more than that. Um, but one of our design goals was to make it usable for most household circuits where we think the majority of our customers are. It'll have a one year warranty as before. It will be uh, serviceable in the sense that we will be providing the ability to replace the pump if something does happen. I think that's kind of a quick summary of all the improvements on the 2.3. It will be available sometime around the end of March. Uh, so that's exciting in time for springtime. It'll be available for a retail of $650. And I think that's the number that we're getting and that's the full kit. So I think it, it's, it represents still a great value in the market. For those of you looking for a heavier induction, kind of best in performance for 15 amps, this is really uh, going to be a great unit. Uh, if you guys have commercial circuits above 15 amps, 20 amp, 25 amps, uh, that is something we're working on as well. Um, but for most people who don't have access to that, this is going to be a great choice for them. So as always, thanks for your support. Leave us a comment on the new unit if you have any more questions or even any more suggestions on the next generation of product or what else you want us to build. Like I said, we have a lot more exciting things coming out in 2024 that we will be rolling out and discussing with everyone and getting feedback as always. And as always, thanks for your support.